you hear something? Maybe? Did you hear something? Yeah, definitely. Where's that coming from? I don't see anything. I don't either. There's something outside. I don't know. <sighs> oh no. What? No. Is happening. No. <laughs> I thought we were done with this. It looks like it stopped. Maybe it was nothing. Yeah, I hope so. I really want to finish this book. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna concentrate on that. Good idea. What's your rating? Eduardo! Oh how, man. How are you even here? What, what is going on? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay, well you had to travel some way to get here. How how did that happen? If I knew, I wouldn't say I don't know. So what are you guys doing? Oh man, you were reading peacefully. Yeah. Enjoying some books before you came along. I like books probably. Probably. Uh do you guys think you can uh, help me get home? Eduardo, how did you get here? Uh well, I don't remember. I was minding my own business. <laughs> oh, Susie, you're so funny. Oh, Eduardo, <laughs> you're so handsome. <laughs> yeah, got myself. Just hanging out, minding our own business. Nothing bad's gonna such happen. Such good friends, just hanging out. Friends. Oh, what? Minding my own business. Nothing bad's I... gonna happen. It's gonna be fine. Nothing bad, nothing at all. Yeah, that's right. You're just having a good time. Minding my own business. That's right. All these lights started flickering. Oh, what? I don't know what's happening. Oh, this is making me feel a little cool. Oh. And I don't know what happened. And all of my friends, well, some of my friends, I have all of my friends. Okay, so somehow you opened a magical portal between Athenaeum and here, and now yes. you're here and you don't know how. I didn't do it. Why would I do that? Why would I want to come here? Well, this is I mean, boring. I kind of felt the same way when we ended up in Athenaeum. I didn't really want to be there, but there we were. Not alike at all. So, all right, you need help getting home, right? Yes. You said there are other people with you? Uh, yes, that is, that is correct. So how many other creatures came through with you? Like five, five people maybe? Five of them, I think. And you have no idea where they are? Nope. Sure do. Alright, so we've got to find your friends and, and get them and you back to Athenaeum somehow. Yes. Hmm. Well, let's go see what we can find out. Come on. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. help Eduardo get home. We have such an opportunity here. We could absolutely make him miserable. Like he made us miserable. Just think of all those ridiculous things that they made us do. What, what if? if? What if? Let's make him work here. Yes. He will hate me. Oh my gosh. Yes. Just a second, Eduardo. We'll be right, right there. Right with you. Just, just a minute. Just talking about the best plan for Getting you home, buddy. Strategize. Yep. This is gonna be perfect. Oh, yeah, we can go to other people.
will suffer all of his friends. Well, maybe we could distract Eduardo when we find them and then send them on their way. Do you think the book will work like it did last time? I mean, it's worth a shot. Okay. It seems like the most likely thing. Are you guys coming? Yeah. One second. We'll be right we'll be there, right buddy. There. We're going to get you home. Got a plan. <laughs> oh, this is going to be wonderful. Oh, so much fun with him. All right. Let's get Eduardo home. Let's do it. All right, Eduardo. Well, I think we've got a plan to, to work on getting you home, but it is going to take some time. What do you mean it's going to take time? Well, you said yourself you brought some of your friends with you. We've got to find them. We've, we're going to have to go all over the library to look for them. And, you know, like, the library is closed right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's nobody in here. You can't just be in here if you're not a staff member. So we're going to have to train you so that you can be a staff member to be in here. Yep, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. Are you kidding me? It's, that's just how it works, that's man. That's how it is, Edward. I'm yeah. sorry, bud. So I'm sorry dude, but if you want to be here, which you don't really have a choice, mm -hmm. we gotta train you. That means you're gonna have to help us find books for patrons, so you're gonna have to learn how to search for books, how to use the Dewey Decimal System, how to use a catalog, how to pull holds mm -hmm. and make book bundles. You got a lot of stuff to learn, bro. And we're gonna have to do administrative stuff. You're gonna have to learn about curbside service. There's a lot. You might even have to do some programming. I this mean, sounds like a lot of work. Well, it is, it a, is lot a lot of work. work. Yeah, it's work. But you know, if you want to be here. And find your friends and get home. That's how it's gonna be. This seems absolutely unfair. I cannot imagine being forced into labor like this. I mean, you're the one that came to our world, man. I don't, I don't know what you want. I don't know what you expect, Eduardo. And honestly, you're gonna need a better attitude than that, or, you know. It's gonna be that much harder. So what do you say? I want to go home. I just want to go home. Can I go straight home? I'm afraid. That's not how it works, Eduardo. What? <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm not enjoying this um, at all. Yeah, I guess we better get started. Why don't we uh, have some folds pulled that need to go back to circulation for curbside? So uh, let's get started, shall we? Let's do it. How's it going out here? Oh, thank goodness you're here. We're swapped. Can you help with curbside? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Eduardo, it's go time, man. Come oh, on. Oh, man. Ooh, all right. Come on, Eduardo. We got to suit up. It's time to do curbside. Oh, man. Do I have to? Yes, you do. This is part of your journey home. I don't understand how this is going to get make me get home. It'll all become clear, Eduardo. Don't worry. Ugh, this it's sounds awful. Great. What Come are you on. putting on? What is? It's an apron. What? It helps protect me from any stray germs and things of that ah. nature. Come on. Let's go. Uh. Come on, Eduardo. We got to go. People need their books. No, like right now. Come on, let's go. I don't want to. This is ridiculous. Too bad. Well, can I get an apron? What am I supposed to do? Uh, I don't think we have any in your size, Eduardo, but I think you'll be fine considering you're mostly just a stick with a head. You're a plastic dragon. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. It doesn't seem safe, so what do I have to do? Eduardo, just follow our lead. It's gonna be fine, okay? It doesn't sound fine. It's super easy, man. Even you can't mess it up. Come on, let's go. Fine, let's go. So, what am I supposed to do with these, eh? All right, we're gonna take these out to the van in spot number two, Eduardo. <sighs> All, right. All right, let's it's go. Be great. Get our way. Come these on. Are crafts for the children. It's gonna be great. Come on, Eduardo. All right. Hey, hello. Friends. How are you today? You excited about getting your books and your crafts today? Yeah. Well, I have a very special helper with me today. His name is Eduardo. 
Say hi, Eduardo. Hello, how's hi. it going? I have uh, some crisps for you, I guess. <laughs> All right, Eduardo, we're gonna put these in the in the pan. Yep, set them down just like that. Very good, very, very good. good, Eduardo. All right, excellent. What's, so what's your favorite color? I like all the colors. What's your favorite color? Light blue. Oh, good choice. Hey, Very what's nice. your favorite dinosaur? Favorite dinosaur? Well, let's see. I do like a Velociraptor. What do you like? T-Rex. I like a Paracelophus. Oh, very, very fancy. You've seen the show. You have? That's awesome. Did you like my show? Yes. Oh, what's your favorite part? Um, I liked when you guys went to the Oh, oh yeah, the dragon's done. Yeah, it's my house. Yeah, that was not our favorite because we had to clean Eduardo's no. room. And I was really afraid of your mom at first, but she actually turned out to be she pretty, pretty nice. She's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's exciting. So Eduardo's stuck in our world right now, and he's learning how to work at the library. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything you should think he should have to do? Maybe you can play with. Maybe you can read books at story time. <gasps> Ooh, that's a great that's a idea. Wonderful idea. That's a wonderful what idea. What do you think, Eduardo? Would you like to do a story time? I think I could probably do that. Um, can you play fire? Um, only sometimes if someone has fire already. He's not a very good dragon. Yeah. He's only made of plastic. <laughs> he's, he's still young. He's still a young dragon. I'm a great dragon. What do you mean? I'm a wonderful dragon. Don't you, you guys know, think I'm wonderful? He's a pretty good dragon. He's good. <laughs> Alright, you guys want to say goodbye to Eduardo? Bye bye. Bye, bye guys, it was nice to meet you. High five? And... No hands, but uh, we could try. Mm -hmm. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Boop. What spot are we going to? We're going to spot number three, Eduardo. Number three. Yes, number three. One, two, three. Yep, you got it. Okay, you know your two, numbers. Good this, job. Uh, this way. Okay, this way. Let's yep. Go. Let's go. Oh come on! You're not out of breath already, are you? Oh, we barely started. <coughs> this is hard work. Oh, okay. Come on. come on. We got this. I believe in you. Hey friends, how are you today? Good. Are you excited about your books? Yeah. So I have a special helper who's helping deliver books today. He's learning all about curbside and he's getting to meet some of our patrons. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. Hello. This is Eduardo. How are you guys? Good. Did you get any good books today? Excellent. I'm glad that we could bring you some books. Very exciting. Eduardo. Yes. What, what all have you learned at Curbside? You want to tell these guys a little bit about um, what it's like? Well, they put me to work and it's very difficult. It's a lot of work. Do you guys like doing work? Yeah. You like it? Oh my goodness. Maybe you should employ her. I no. She's very smart. I think you're the one that needs to learn the value of hard work. Oh, I hate work. It's so hard. But I like bringing books to you guys. It's fun, huh? I heard that you guys have seen my show before. Did you watch Epic at the Mail? What did you think? You like it? What's your favorite part? It looks wonderful. That's a very nice shooting star. Is that a magic wand? Are yeah. you gonna make Eduardo disappear? <gasps> disappear. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's my favorite trick yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you guys like your books. It was nice to meet you. Enjoy. We'll see you guys like them. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm 
putting holds out, Eduardo. Why don't you get to work? Do something. I can work. You know that by now. That's true. So um, where, what am I supposed to do here other than look Okay, well, handsome. on these slips, we have patron names, and we're alphabetizing them by last name so that when they call to pick up their holds, we can easily find them and take them out to the cars. That sounds like a lot of work. There's a lot of uh, books here. I mean, everywhere. we have a lot of books going in and out, and it is a lot of work. We have lots of patrons who want to read lots of things. So, you might have to, you might have to do some hard labor, Eduardo. Why can't I just go home? I'm just saying. I mean, it's not really how this works. Oh. You gotta, you gotta work your way through. This is ridiculous. Isn't it? <sighs> okay. Why can't I answer the phone? Well, Eduardo, answering the phone requires a certain level of professionalism that I just I don't think so you've attained professional. yet. Professional? How dare you say I that? I mean, okay, okay. So if you answered the phone, what would you say? Eduardo, is it here the name? Yeah, see, that would be confusing because people are trying to get in touch with the Johnson City Public Library, not Epic Athenae. There's the one there. I can get it. No, no, I, I, they got it. They got it. They they know what they're doing. They Johnson have done City this for Public months Library. now. I think, I I think we've got the phones covered. Fine. <sighs> Come on, let's go deliver some books. This is hard. Gotta do it, man. Come on, come on. I believe in you, buddy. You got this. It's hard to do. It is hard, but you're doing great. Mandy, where am I going with this? Number three. Three. Th thank you, Mandy. Yeah. Okay, okay, three, three, three. Exhausted. I've never been so tired in my whole life. I mean, I'll give you that. Curbside is a lot and uh, it's it's very grueling. Is this torture? Is this it's, actual torture? I mean, it's really hot outside right now. I feel you. But, you know, I mean, just think of how many patrons you made so happy by delivering their books to their car today. Eduardo's still complaining? Oh, yeah, of course. Eduardo, oh, it's just... It's just what we do, man. That's part of it. Yeah, and all those kids that were so excited to get crafts. I mean, you made such a difference today. Don't you feel good about that? Not really. Although, the kids were pretty cool. I gotta say, they like Epic F and AM. Can you believe that? See, they watched your show. That was really show. exciting. That yeah. they like, they like my show. They like your show. They're big fans. I'm pretty tired. Cool. All right. Well, maybe you should take a rest before we move on to the next thing. The next. Thing? Yeah, the next, the next thing. What? I can't just go home? No. I'm not done yet? We've explained to you. There's more? You have to be trained as if you work here. Oh. If we're going to go through the library and find your friends. You haven't even scratched the surface yet. Eduardo, there's so much more you need to know how to do. Yeah. Like, we need to figure out all of the things that you can do so we know where to place you, what department you're gonna work in. I mean... Yeah, what's your what's your specialty? Do you wanna work with kids? Do you wanna work with adults? What do you, you know, we're gonna have to go through these things and see where you're gonna fit. This is ridiculous. So, like, what, what do you mean there's more? What comes next? Well, one of the most important things that we do is we help people find books and anything else that they need in the library. So, you're gonna have to learn how to use the catalog. You're gonna have to learn how to search for books. Learn the Dewey Decimal System. Oh, uh, Dewey who? Dewey... Dewey what? Dewey Decimal System is how we classify our nonfiction books. I don't know, Dewey Decimal? We do, we do. Uh. And uh, you're gonna have to learn it. So I think we should probably go ahead and get started. You know, maybe after you get a drink or something. Maybe have some water. Why can't I just lay here? Uh. Because there's so much more to do. Well. All right, let's get to it. Well, right. Eduardo, you see, that's not how it works. Not really how it works. That's true. There's a, there's a little bit of a twist what? that we forgot to tell you about. What do you, 
What do you mean there's a twist? There can't be a twist. That's my thing. Uh, there can't be a twist. I'm an well, entertainer. I can't do this. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Eduardo, but you're in our world now. And so uh, we play by our rules. And uh, in our world, we have to let the viewers decide what the theme of our next episode is going to be. Uh, you know, sometimes you get book requests and people want books on a certain topic. And so we want to know what theme do you want our next episode to be so we can pull books on that topic. We might even throw in some props, some costumes. Some costumes. Maybe you'll have to act out a skit. Yes. There's so much more we have to do, Eduardo. So yes, let's let the viewers decide, shall we? Yes. We shall. All right, Eduardo. Let me straighten your little bow tie. Aww. Time to let the viewers decide. It's my job, though. I don't like this. You're in our world, bud. Welcome to it. Miss Jennifer, why don't you tell the viewers what they'll be voting on? So for our next episode, we need a theme. A theme? This a is ridiculous. Theme, yes. We need some direction on- Who does themes? Uh, libraries do themes, man. Listen. All right. We need some direction on what books we're going to be picking out, what we need to search for in the catalog, and maybe even what costumes we should wear. How we'll film the whole episode. Exactly. So your choices for the next episode are either western themed or detective themed. So you let us know. There's going to be a poll going up after this episode and you can vote for which one you want to see us do. You mean I have no say in this whatsoever? No. I'm you afraid that's don't. not how libraries work, Eduardo. Three, two, one, action. Action.